Hi, this is Cooking Appa. Today, this recipe is going to show you how I steam my fish. <coughs> I have with me here two cutlets from the 4.5 kg Bara Mundi fish I bought, which is Ikan Siakap. Okay, Chinese say Jing Mulu from the D market. It's a beautiful fish, very fresh. So, I didn't bring any, you, you notice I didn't bring, I didn't really put any ginger or uh, any ginger or green onions here uh, because I know my I, I know I've eaten this fish few times already. It's very very fresh. So first of course you heat up you heat up the uh, the hot water boil here and you put it in. So how much time for this cutler? Probably you only take less than about about seven minutes about. So we start counting now. I'm looking at my recording video's time. We give it another seven minutes, then we will see. Now this one I'm going to eat. I'm going to make it very simple. Steam the fish. I just pour on some garlic oil, or homemade garlic oil with some soya sauce. And also add in some green onions, which I, which I chopped it up a while just now and put it under cold water. Why is it you put it under cold water? Because it will actually start to cool. Yeah? Under cold water. You can see? It will actually cool if you put it under cold water. I actually cut a bit more here because you can actually eat it. Uh, it is not just for garnishing purposes, but you can eat it as veggies. <coughs> I have been giving uh, a lot of tips for steaming fish so far. You can refer back to my earlier uh, fish steaming um, uh, techniques videos. <coughs> One of it is, of course, you will notice after I steam fish using this plate, I will not use the same plate. I will actually transfer the fish over to you know, another plate, another plate, so that all the fishy water that come out from this fish will not will not uh, be served. <clears throat> those are the source of the fishiness. This today I'm starting to use my iPhone to do the recording. <clears throat> Previously I was using Huawei. Well, the differences if you ask me was Huawei's lens autofocus it will actually keep on moving and uh, you couldn't find it focus point so well as compared with iPhone. iPhone iPhone's lens actually it actually stabilizes better than Android phone. But uh, somehow it, it also takes much longer for me to upload the video from here to YouTube compared to Huawei. Huawei is faster. <coughs> I think every phone all has their good and bad. You can see, you can start seeing the meat is actually turning white color. This is one of the freshest um, Baramundi Siakap that I ever bought. You, you can actually see from one of my video earlier on how I choose a fresh fish, I'll go and uh, take a look at it in my Cooking Appa, cook, uh, Cooking Appa YouTube channel. That you can actually see from there, the fish eyes is crystal clear and the fish gill is so reddish, very very fresh. Okay, And with, with this kind of size, it is not rare. This kind of size is definitely captured in the wild. So, the, it has got very nice, firm texture. Okay, you can see it's actually turning very white, beautifully. Notice I put some rubber band here because I think there is a design fault of this particular uh, cover. Too short, not big, not big enough and uh, it doesn't have the depth so it, you can't really hold it. And every time you're using a cover like this, it's supposed to be very hot in a very hot situation. So it can drop, yeah, it can drop so very dangerous. Therefore, I actually added some rubber band here for the grip, yeah, to, uh, to enhance and enhance the grips. Now it's about 
four minutes. <coughs> we give it another three minutes more. Okay. Many people are concerned how long can, can I actually keep my garlic oil. To me, as long as every time you use it, you always use a fresh, a clean uh, uh, table uh, spoon, then you can actually keep at least minimum 2-3 weeks in the fridge. No problem. No problem. Yeah, don't contaminate it. It becomes spoiled very easily when you start contaminating it with some used spoons. Yeah, always use a fresh one. And I, I did I did a, a garlic oil uh, cooking video how to make a garlic oil in my cooking apa channel as well you can you can also take a look at it right nice golden color so people have been complaining to me that sometimes when they do their garlic oil some got burned um, some are not even the colors are not even yeah so there's actually some simple techniques for you to follow there just just go and take a look at my video. And as a matter of fact, I, uh, the reason why I'm changing to I, to a new phone is because while I was shooting that particular video, my, my, my Huawei actually dropped into my garlic oil. So it actually sacrifices for all of us. <laughs> all right, you can see the very nice white color here. We are almost there. <coughs> Remember, 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 whenever you take your fish out from the freezer, make sure it is 100% defrost. Then only you go and steam it. If it's not properly defrost, just if you just go and uh, just leave it there for like, uh, uh, let's say half an hour or so, you will not be fully defrost. So what will happen after you, you, you steam it? Inside, you will not be cooked. Okay, so how I normally defrost, I will take the fish out a few hours before and leave it in the room temperature. Leave it in the room temperature. Okay, but it's with the plastic cover. You don't want it to be to have a direct contact with the air all the time because it will actually oxidize the fish. Any seafood will get oxidized very easily. You don't want that to happen. Okay, so take it out at least 3-4 hours before. Uh, and uh, put and keep it in 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 the same uh, plastic bag because I keep all my fish in in plastic bags, yeah. <coughs> right, we're almost there. So make sure it's properly defrost. Okay, so later I'm going to move my fish over to this. <coughs> move the fish over and also add in some garlic oil and soy sauce. That's it. Okay, now it's about 7 minutes, almost coming to 8 minutes. Let me see. It's almost there. So how do you know whether inside inside of the fish is already done or not? This is how you do it. Okay, now it's about 8 minutes. It's very hot, be careful on the cover. You use a chopstick, okay? You use a chopstick, poke it into the middle, the, the thickest middle center of the fish, and you put it in between your lips and your nose. Is it hot or not? If it's hot, then it's cooked. If it's cold, then it's not cooked. Okay? I can I actually can feel it. It's hot already. So it's ready. Yep. It's ready. Okay. So I'm going to remove it. Oops. Where is my... Remove it. Here. See? All this water. This fishy water, we don't want it. Okay? You don't want it. These are the source of... These are the source of uh, these are the source for the fish's tail. Okay. So now we have to carefully remove 
the fish. Very carefully, you don't want to break it. Very carefully remove the fish. Okay, using a spatula. Okay, you don't want all this, all right? You don't want this. And you are going to, you are going to splash it. You're going to put the homemade garlic oil on top. <coughs> some green onions and last but not least adding some uh, soy sauce all right it's done okay this is stained fish with garlic oil homemade garlic oil and a bit of soya sauce Thank you very much.